Welcome back everyone. In today's video, I'll show you how to back up your Windows system, including your folders, files, apps, settings, and credentials, such as your accounts and password, without using a third-party tool. I'll also explain how to restore everything once it's backed up. Let's get started. The first method is very simple. We'll be using Microsoft Cloud or OneDrive. From the taskbar, search for Windows Backup, Click on the suggestions for Windows Backup and you'll see a page that says let's back up your PC. It mentions that your info will be backed up to the cloud and automatically kept up to date, giving you a peace of mind that it is always protected even if something happens to your PC. And below, you'll find details on what will be backed up, including your folders, files, applications, settings, and credentials. Simply click on Backup Now now you'll need to sign in with your Microsoft account and once you do, it will start the backup. Now just keep in mind that Microsoft offers you only five gigabyte of free space. If you want more storage, then you need to go with their paid plan. You can check the details on their website. For the second method, we'll be using an external drive to back up our Windows files. First, let's click on the Windows search and type control. Click on the control panel. In the system and security section, select backup and restore. If you don't see these options, just make sure the view by is set to category. Next, click on create system image from the left hand menu. It will look for backup device. Now just make sure your external drive is connected. If you have multiple devices connected, just choose the correct one that you want to use for this backup. Once you select it, click next, then you'll see information about what will be backed up. Your C drive will automatically be selected. If you want to back up any other partition, you can select them here too. For this demo, I'll be only selecting the C drive. So I'll uncheck everything else and click on next. You'll then see a preview indicating that the backup could take about 29 gigabyte of disk space. When you are ready, just click on start backup to begin the process. The third method is through the backup and restore feature, specifically using the file history. In the backup and restore window, look for the file history option at the bottom left and click on it. If it says file history is off, click on turn on to enable it. Once enabled, from the left menu, click on select drive and choose the drive where you want to back up your Windows files. After selecting it, click on OK. It will then say the file history is saving copies of your files for the first time. You'll see additional options such as advanced settings where you can adjust how often copies are saved. The default is every hour I'm going to change it to daily. Here you can decide how many saved versions you want to keep. I'll just select to save all versions until space is needed. Then just make sure to click on save changes. Now, if you don't want to back up everything, you can click on the add. For example, if you want to exclude the document folder, click on it and choose the items you want to exclude. If you open your file explorer, and go to the selected drive, you'll find a folder named file history. Inside, you'll see your user account folder. If you open it and navigate to data, see users and your uh, username, you'll find all the data from your documents as you can see here, and the desktop folder as well as saved game if you have any. This method makes it easier to back up your data and it's highly recommended to create a regular backups in case anything goes wrong. And now you should be able to backup your Windows files using these three different methods. Now to restore your Windows backup from the Microsoft Cloud or OneDrive from the first method, open your browser and let's go to the sign in into Microsoft OneDrive page. And log in with your Microsoft account After signing in, click on the setting gear icon in the top right corner. 
you'll find an option that says restore OneDrive data. Now it's not showing up for me because I haven't created any backup data, but if you have, it should appear here. You can click on it and the restore will start. To restore Windows backup from the file history we did for method two, start by clicking on the Windows search and type file history. Select file history from the suggestions and this window will appear. From the left menu, click on restore personal files and this will display all the data that has been backed up along with date and time. You can choose the folders and file you want to restore. Once you selected all the files and folders you want, click on the green button at the bottom that says restore to original location. And this will start restoring all your data to their original location. To restore data from the system image we created in method two using the external drive, right click on the Windows icon and select settings. Click on the Windows update in the left menu, then scroll down to find advanced options. Click on it and then scroll down to recovery, click on it and in the advanced startup section, click on restart now and confirm by clicking restart now again. And your computer will boot into the advanced startup options. Once in the advanced options, click on the troubleshoot, then advanced options and select see more recovery options. Here you'll find system image recovery, click on it. If you haven't created recovery image, you'll see a message saying Windows cannot find any system images. However, if you have created one, it will display the day, time, computer name and location. Select the system image you want to restore, then click on next to process with the restoration. All right, those were the three methods you could use to back up your Windows system. I hope you found this information useful. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Bye for now.